Ultimate tensile strength, often shortened to tensile strength or ultimate strength, is the maximum stress that a material can withstand while being stretched or pulled before failing or breaking. Tensile strength is not the same as compressive strength and the values can be quite different. Some materials will break sharply, without plastic deformation, in what is called a brittle failure. Others, which are more ductile, including most metals, will experience some plastic deformation and possibly necking before fracture. The UTS is usually found by performing a tensile test and recording the engineering stress versus strain. The highest point of the stress strain curve is the UTS. It is an intensive property. Therefore its value does not depend on the size of the test specimen. However, it is dependent on other factors, such as the preparation of the specimen, the presence or otherwise of surface defects, and the temperature of the test environment and material. Tensile strengths are rarely used in the design of ductile members, but they are important in brittle members. They are tabulated for common materials such as alloys, composite materials, ceramics, plastics, and wood. Tensile strength is defined as a stress, which is measured as force per unit area. For some non-homogeneous materials it can be reported just as a force or as a force per unit width. In the SI system, the unit is the pascal, using the mega prefix, or, equivalently to pascals, newtons per square meter. A United States customary unit is pounds force per square inch, or kilopounds per square inch, which is equal to 1000 psi. Kilopounds per square inch are commonly used when measuring tensile strengths. Concept, ductile materials. Many material display linear elastic behavior, defined by a linear stress-strain relationship, as shown in the left figure up to point 3. The elastic behavior of materials often extends into a non-linear region, represented in the figure by point 2, up to which deformations are completely recoverable upon removal of the load. That is, a specimen loaded elastically in tension will elongate, but will return to its original shape and size when unloaded. Beyond this elastic region, for ductile materials, such as steel, deformations are plastic. A plastically deformed specimen will not completely return to its original size and shape when unloaded. For many applications, plastic deformation is unacceptable, and is used as the design limitation. After the yield point, ductile metals will undergo a period of strain hardening, in which the stress increases again with increasing strain, and they begin to neck as the cross-sectional area of the specimen decreases due to plastic flow. In a sufficiently ductile material, when necking becomes substantial, it causes a reversal of the engineering stress-strain curve. This is because the engineering stress is calculated assuming the original cross-sectional area before necking. The reversal point is the maximum stress on the engineering stress-strain curve, and the engineering stress coordinate to this point is the ultimate tensile strength given by point 1. The UTS is not used in the design of ductile static members because design practices dictate the use of the yield stress. It is, however, used for quality control, because of the ease of testing. It is also used to roughly determine material types for unknown samples. The UTS is a common engineering parameter when designing brittle members, because there is no yield point. Testing. Typically, the testing involves taking a small sample with a fixed cross-section area, and then pulling it with a tensometer, gradually increasing force until the sample breaks. When testing metals, indentation hardness correlates linearly with tensile strength. This important relation permits economically important non-destructive testing of bulk metal deliveries with lightweight, even portable equipment, such as handheld Rockwell hardness testers. The high carbon steel content carbon 08% and has high ultimate strength 640 to 619 per. It should be noted that, while most metal forms, such as sheet, bar, tube, and wire, can exhibit the test UTS, fibers, such as carbon fibers, being only 2 slash 10 thousandth of an inch in diameter, must be made into composites to create useful real world forms. As the data sheet on T1000G below indicates, while the UTS of the fiber is very high at 6370 mPa, 
the UTS of a derived composite is 3014 per, less than half the strength of the fiber. Typical tensile strengths, and many of the values depend on manufacturing process and purity composition. B multi walled carbon nanotubes have the highest tensile strength of any material yet measured, with labs producing them at a tensile strength of 63 GPA, still well below their theoretical limit of 300 GPA. The first nanotube ropes whose tensile strength was published had a strength of 3.6 GPA. The density depends on the manufacturing method, and the lowest value is 0.037 or 0.55. See the strength of spider silk is highly variable. It depends on many factors including kind of silk, species, age of silk, temperature, humidity, swiftness at which stress is applied during testing, length stress is applied, and way the silk is gathered. The value shown in the table, 1000 mPa, is roughly representative of the results from a few studies involving several different species of spider however specific results varied greatly. D. Human hair strength varies by ethnicity and chemical treatments. See also, flexural strength, strength of materials, tensile structure, toughness, failure, tension, references. Further reading, G. Arnkley, Douglas, Physics for Scientists and Engineers 3rd edition. Upper Saddle River, Prentice Hall. Car Paragraph Lair, T. Volrath. F. Thread Biomechanics in the Two Orb Weaving Spiders Araneus Diadematus and Euluboris Walconerius. Journal of Experimental Zoology 271, 1 Euro 17 doi, 10.1002 slash 1,402,710,102 T. Follett, Life Without Metals, Minfeng, U. Luri, O. Dyer, M. J. Moliny, K. Kelly, T. F. Roof. RS. Strength and breaking mechanism of multi walled carbon nanotubes under tensile load. Science 287, 637 a Euro 640. Bibcode, 2000 Psi. 287 637 Y DOI, 10.1126 slash science. 287.5453.637. PMIDA 10,649,994 George E. Dieter, Mechanical Metallurgy. McGraw-Hill, UK.